welcome back to another video on my channel. Hope that you guys are doing well. Um, if you, this is your first time here, my name is Michael and I am a advanced level player um, playing disc golf and enjoying it, posting my rounds and tips and stuff on YouTube. So make sure you guys subscribe and follow. Uh, today we've got an awesome video going over some of my top tips um, for disc golf to help you get better. So let's go ahead and get into it. So while I'm going over my tips, we're going to be uh, just playing around out here at Squirrel Lake. First shot here, just a typical hyzer, and then we'll uh, head down to the basket. Throwing the anvil. Oh, bad tree kick. So my first tip for you guys, uh, <laughs> which is probably a controversial one, if you're a beginner, is not to buy too many discs. I know, I know. Everybody likes collecting them, all of that kind of stuff. But when you're first figuring out disc golf, it can be extremely confusing to have too many discs, to have too many molds. Um, I think that it's important for you to buy a couple, maybe buy a couple putters, a couple mid-ranges, a couple fairway drivers. And honestly, if you're just starting off, I wouldn't even buy a distance driver. Um, and learning the numbers, and learning what those mean, and learning how the disc flies. Because once you understand how a certain disc you have flies, then when you buy other ones in the future, you can look at the numbers and you can be like, okay, I can kind of figure that this would do this based off of the other discs. Um, it just makes it a little less complicated for you guys. So if you want to buy a bunch of discs, by all means, go ahead. But right off the jump, it can be a little bit confusing and overwhelming for people to buy too many discs and it can kind of like slow your progress. I'm gonna throw the ruby here. Oh yeah, parked. All right, I'm gonna actually try and throw a, a flip up turnover shot through this left side gap here. Ah, that's all right, I should still have an approach from there actually. All right, so uh, my next tip is, I wrote all these down just so that I wouldn't forget them. Um, next tip. I'm gonna mix it with two of them because I know some of you will be like, that's not a tip. It's a tip. Um, practice, obviously. Like, it's more fun to go out and play, right? Like, it's more fun to come out here and just play. But if you actually want to get better, you need to practice shots. You need to go out to a field. You need to just throw. Um, you need to go and just practice putting. You need to do all of these different things to practice if you want to get better. Now, a lot of times that can be done on the course. Um, and that mixes in with my next tip, which is throw multiple shots. Um, it's gonna be very important for you to throw multiple shots from the same location. Throw a backhand, throw a sidearm, throw um, a turnover, throw uh, like whatever, you know what I mean? And, and find things that you feel comfortable and confident with um, because confidence is key in disc golf. If there's a shot that you can make 2% of the time that gets you a birdie, or if there's a shot that you can make eight, or uh, did I say 2% of the time? Whatever, two out of 10, 20% of the time, or there's a shot you can make 80% of the time and it gets you par, generally I would say go for the, the one that gets you the par and the 80% that you're more confident with. Um, <clears throat> now obviously that's situational, but as a whole, learning different shots that you can do that you can be confident with is extremely important. So practice, and take multiple shots. I'm gonna throw my molt fell in here, try and get it to go straight. I gotta hit this gap and end up right towards the basket. Yeah, nice. That'll be a birdie for us. All right, another tip um, is to play with friends. If you've got people that uh, enjoy playing with you, uh, definitely go out and do that because having someone else watch you, they can give you tips and go out with that in mind. So as you're playing with them, be like, hey guys, let's work on getting better today. If y'all see me make a mistake or if you see something that I could have done better or a better decision, definitely tell me. Like I'll always walk over to my friend's lies and be like, uh, I would try this. I let them throw the shot that they would want to throw and then I throw from that position too if they kind of have a question about it. And then you can have them do that in your scenario as well. Especially if you have a friend who uh, maybe invited you out or has played a little bit more. Playing with friends, they can always kind of give you tips or see things from a different perspective, see a different gap. Um, 
And so I think that that's a great tip for any of you guys that are beginners and it also makes it a little bit more enjoyable. Um, for me, uh, out here making videos by myself, sometimes I wish I was playing with people. Uh, but obviously my schedule is a lot different than most people's, so I come out and film when uh, I can, whenever the course is kind of empty and stuff. Um, but playing with friends definitely makes you a better player, okay? So find some people to play with, even if there's a local league or something like that, join it. Um, and just go out and get better and have fun. All right, so I'm gonna throw this beautiful sapphire that I dyed, look at this thing. You guys haven't seen a video of this one yet, but don't worry, I, I will make one. I kind of went off and just died a whole bunch of discs. Um, I'm gonna throw two on this hole. Again, going back to that tip of throwing multiple shots. Whoa! Wow, that was the luckiest kick ever. Oh my gosh, why did I even pick that disc? Look how pretty this thing is. Throwing the sapphire here again. Oh, wow. Brutal. Throw the ruby here. Oh. Not a bad bid from this position. All right, uh, another tip time. Don't throw discs that are too fast. You'll hear so many people tell you this. Um, it is not necessary to throw high speed drivers to get distance. Um, I can throw my fairway drivers further than I can throw my distance drivers a lot of times. The world is getting up there, but my farthest throw is with a sapphire, um, which is a fairway driver. So I'm pretty sure it's, a, it's definitely a fairway driver. <laughs> um, so don't throw discs that are too fast. Um, you don't need to, it isn't necessary. If um, like there are pros that throw putters 450 feet, and obviously we're not pros and I wish I could throw a putter 450 feet, but all that to say, you don't need a distance driver to get distance. Um, it's gonna be way more important for you to throw a slower uh, disc. Probably don't even bag any, fair, any distance drivers unless you wanna use them for their over stability. Um, but if you're just starting off, I would say get a lightweight, understable fairway driver um, to get the most distance uh, that you can, whether that's a sapphire, whether that's um, an escape or uh, a diamond. And obviously I'm just talking about trilogy stuff because that's what I throw. Um, but you don't need that speed. You don't need a 14 speed driver to get far. Throwing my stag here, um, trying to have the disc go down the left side, flip up to the right, 311 feet, um, just gotta hit the line. Flip over for me. Oh. Okay, good. Hitting that tree helped. It didn't flip over like I needed it to. Oh, come on. Let's go. Dude, that was sick. Look at all these trees. You see all these? I just had to throw between these two. Let's go! So I just uh, opened up UDisc to start a, a scorecard because I didn't want to mess up my score. Um, and it says hole one is a par four. So apparently I'm four down right now. I didn't know hole one was a par four. But I guess it is kind of hard to get a birdie on it. I don't know, for those of you that have played here, I mean it's on UDisc, what do you guys normally count it? I don't even know what the sign is. I might have to look at it. I'm gonna throw this Raider. Looks good. By the way, that is a par four, 410 feet. So if we hit the gap right and we're at the opening, um, then we should have a good look to get another par there. All right, I gotta stand out and throw the fuse here and try and get it straight. No, please. <sighs> Dude, these bushes are brutal right here. I 
I wanted to do that. I knew I should have. Throwing my ruby here. Super understable uh, putter. Really easy to throw. Get in. That literally missed the basket by six inches. No, it's short. What do you rush putt, bro? Dang, is that a bogey? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's a bogey. Wow. All right, throwing the stag here. Um, I'm realizing that I've been releasing it on a little too much of a hyzer to flip it. Um, so a little less hyzer here and have it flip up to the right towards the basket. Um, 315 feet down there through the trees. Oh, get around me. Oh my gosh. All right, that should be good. Goodness gracious. <laughs> that time I didn't give it enough hyzer. All right, next tip. Um, slow down. Slow down. There's no need to try and throw too hard. Um, I've noticed this even with like playing golf. If I slow my driver down and not try and like overpower it, I still get really good distance and it's straight. And here's the thing, guys. A lot of times with like golf and disc golf, if you just throw a controlled shot as far as you can um, and like make it go straight, make it go controlled, you're not trying to overpower it or anything like that, then all that changes is the way that you approach the basket. If you throw it really far, then you're throwing with a putter. If you don't throw it as far, then you're throwing with a mid-range. And if you don't throw it as far as that, then you're throwing with a fairway driver. But if you focus on getting the disc where you want it to, controlled and slowed down, then the same applies to the next shot and you throw a disc that you know how to throw and, and you get it there. Um, so I would just encourage you guys not to try and like power up and rip it or anything. Have controlled form, finish, go through all the motions and I promise you, you will see some really, really big changes. Mm. All right, that'll be a part. So I realized uh, I left my mic off at this point. Don't worry, it comes back on in a couple holes. Uh, I throw my felon here, not the best shot, still not really feeling confident with the two fingers. Um, that's what I was saying right there. I was like, this just doesn't feel good. Um, and so I think my game is going to be a mix of two finger and one finger uh, sidearms, especially for my touchy shorter shots. Um, Right there, end up getting a par. This one we're going to be throwing the fuse on. And you can see I actually release it almost flat, but I turn it over because I think I give it a little bit too much power. Um, and so I'm definitely going to be working on slowing that down. Throwing the ruby here. Uh, honestly, one of my favorite approach putters right now. It's just been so good. Uh, throwing the world here. That was with two fingers, and I felt a lot better on that because I didn't really like try and rip it. Like It felt smooth. It felt good. Um, throwing two finger on the Ballista Pro here as an approach. Want to get a big time flex shot um, through these trees. Baskets down there on the right. Um, so you can see we throw the little flex shot here, and it ends up making its way back. It hits this tree and drops, but it's still only about 15, 20 feet away from the basket. I was laughing about that. Um, and then right here, getting this putt in as we commit. And then now I will put you back out on the field with me. Well, guys, I just realized that my mic hasn't been on for the last couple of holes. So I will have done a voiceover up until this point. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> I'm throwing this fuse. I'm going to turn it over. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I didn't turn it over enough. Flex forehand. Oh, perfect. All right, another par on the sapphire here. Of course. All right, and. The last and final tip is to film yourself um, and compare that to pros. Um, not trying to 
imitate them to a certain extent because everybody does things differently um, when it comes to putting and whatever but there are some common threads that uh, connect that you do need to do and I'm all the way back here shoot um, but yeah film yourself compare it to pros watch their feet watch the angle of their feet watch the angle of the release all that kind of stuff um, and that will do wonders at helping you improve oh are you joking gosh that looks so good it's gonna be another bogey man do it oh wow a really great shot guys uh that's right next to the basket so that's gonna be a bogey um i think i shot like three under i'm not really sure uh, the point of this video was just so that you guys could have something to watch while I talked about the tips and everything. Um, comment down below some of your tips. Um, if you're uh, an intermediate, advanced, whatever level player, comment down below some of your tips that have helped you uh, get better at the game. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you on the next one.